In this module, you will learn about the concept of unit of sale, unit cost, unit price, and gross profit for a single product or service. Introduction According to Joseph Duran, without a standard, there is no logical basis for making a decision or taking action. Next, let us start with unit of sale. For any business, it is important to measure sales, costs, and profits as measurement is a decisive factor for any organization. It is a difficult task to manage the measurements without a common standard or yardstick. One such standard is unit of sale, which is the heart of any business. Unit of sale can be defined as the measure of product or service sold. It is basically used for billing the buyer. Let us take an example of a lawyer. For a lawyer, time is the unit of sale as he or she considers the number of hours he or she has worked for the client for billing. Similarly, for a shoe seller, the unit of sale is a pair of shoes. Let us now look at a few businesses with their respective unit of sale. Unit of sale helps in comprehending the economics of the business, comparing the past performance with future and taking the corrective action. Next is unit cost. Cost of unit is the cost incurred by a company to produce, store, and sell one unit of sale of a particular product or service. The unit cost denotes the variable cost, such as raw material, packing material, sales commission, and freight. Let us look at an example of a sweet vendor. For a sweet vendor, the sum of cost per kg of sugar, wheat, ghee, cooking fuel used, and package materials make up the variable cost or unit cost. He or she must also consider the wastage aspect while calculating the unit cost. In this example, 5 kg of wheat, 2 kg of sugar, and 1 kg of ghee may not result in 16 packs of sweets, half kg each. It might be slightly less than the expected say, 13 or 14 packs due to wastage and spillage. Thus, for a sweets vendor, one pack of half kg is the unit of sale and the total of the variable costs such as sugar, wheat and ghee per pack is the unit cost. To calculate per unit cost, divide the total of variable costs by the total quantity. The labor cost incurred by the vendor in preparing the sweets can also be added only if it is variable in nature. Next is unit price. The price at which one unit of sale is sold is the unit price. There are many factors that influence the price one fixes for the product or service. Finally, the consumer marketplace decides the amount at which transaction happens. Suppose, in case of a tea vendor, it is the amount charged for a cup of tea, 100 ml. If the unit cost, that is, the cost to prepare a cup of tea, is rupees 10, then obviously, the unit price has to be more than the unit cost, that is, more than rupees 10. The tea vendor may fix the unit priced at rupees 15. Gross profit. Unit gross profit or unit gross margin is the excess of unit price over unit cost. It denotes the profit that a business can make by selling a product or service before deducting the fixed expenses such as salaries, rent and other expenses. Unit cost or variable cost is also known as cost of goods sold. The formula for gross profit per unit is shown on the screen. 
Take the same example of sweet vendor. The unit price per pack of half kg sweets is rupees sixty. Unit cost per pack of half kg sweets is rupees fifty. Hence, gross profit per pack of half kg sweets is rupees ten. To conclude. Knowing the unit of sale is important for any organization as it helps the business in determining the direction in which it is heading. For example, an organization is performing better if it sells 9000 units in first 3 months and 10000 units in next 3 months. In this module, you have learned Unit of sale can be defined as the measure of product or service sold. It is basically used for billing the buyer. Unit of sale helps in comprehending the economics of the business, comparing the past performance with future, and taking the corrective action. Cost of unit is the cost incurred by a company to produce, store, and sell one unit of sale of a particular product or service. The unit cost denotes the variable cost such as raw material, packing material, sales commission and freight. The price at which one unit of sale is sold is the unit price. Unit gross profit or unit gross margin is the excess of unit price over unit cost. It denotes the profit that a business can make by selling a product or service before deducting the fixed expenses. such as salaries rent and other expenses unit cost or variable cost is also known as cost of goods sold